Gantt charts. Gantt charts are the backbone of project controls and project scheduling and being able to read them and understand them is an essential skill if you're working on a construction engineering project and you want it to be successful. I'm going to give you some tips and tricks so that you can more easily navigate and read a Gantt chart, understand what's going on. Well, a Gantt chart's a visual representation of work, project work, that's plotted on a timeline. The whole idea is to give you a visual view of what's happening, the sequence of things, how it all fits together. Now, you might have seen something like this. A huge project Gantt chart print printed across 50 pages that's next to impossible to understand. Now, I don't recommend you use printouts to try to read and decipher a Gantt chart. If you can get your hands on a piece of software like Primavera P6, maybe Microsoft Project, or any other viewer tool, then I recommend you go that way. In this video, we're gonna use a tool called Schedule Reader, which reads Primavera P6 and Microsoft Project files. There's a free trial. If you wanna download it and follow along, you're welcome to. Check it out, there's a link for it below. Most construction engineering projects are complex. If you can get it summarized down into a pretty picture, it's gonna make your job in managing it a whole lot easier. So let's go through some of the most important things to understand and to navigate using a Gantt chart. There's a lot of data on my Gantt chart here, but if we look a little closer, let's see some of the most important things. Milestones, the little diamond shapes. Obviously, those are the major milestones or deadlines that we're trying to hit on the project. We have these work elements. Work elements are tasks. Those are the basic building blocks, the work that needs to be accomplished. And we can define the sequence of those with the arrows. That's why you see a lot of arrows on this screen. Sometimes those arrows can be really easy to understand, but sometimes when they span large distances, it can be complicated. And so we can always turn them on or turn them off to get a better understanding. Any construction engineering project is gonna be broken down into some sort of work organization system. They could be the phases of the project, they could be different areas of the project. And that's called our work breakdown structure. On the left here, you can see the colored bars that break the work down. Here's construction broken down into the water main broken down in further into the different shafts and a specific shaft in the work that will happen on that shaft, the compound setup and the excavation. And if we start to roll things up, we'll see that structure repeated more and more throughout the project. That's our work breakdown structure. It helps us organize all of the work in the project. Really important to understand. In this schedule, all the red activities are critical, and that defines my critical path. That is the most important path through the project that leads to the finish of the project. And red activities are ones that we really care about in construction because if any of those are late, the project is probably gonna finish late and there's gonna be hell to pay. One of the most important things is to understand the sequencing of work. And sometimes you can look at it and it's super obvious. Let's have a look at the tunneling section here. We're gonna tunnel from S3 to S2, and you can see I've broken it all down. It's been broken down into all these sequential activities, one after the other. And I need to do the first one and then the next one. There's a lovely sequence of straight ahead work here. But sometimes work is not so straightforward to understand and we might have to adjust our view to really understand it. So have a look at these shafts. I know I have three shafts on this project and each of those shafts has a compound setup and excavation and then a restoration section. But there's so much work here, it's all spread out. One of the things that we can do is we can roll things up to have a better understanding of it. So let's roll up our different sections. this and now we can start to see oh here's one of my shafts compound setup excavation and then I can see this nice staggering view and now it's easy to understand the bigger picture of the shaft work this video is sponsored by us plan Academy that's right we have a great course 
on using Schedule Reader to analyze Gantt charts, to analyze projects, and to tweeze out those most important details. Check it out, there's a link for it below. Now if you're managing one of the parts of the project, then one of the important things you want to understand is who are you waiting for? What work are you waiting for before you can start your piece? Or also who might be waiting for you to finish your piece? And that's another important piece we can look at using the Gantt chart. So for example here we can see the tunneling. Here's some tunneling work. And right after that tunneling then we can start this section of the pipe install. And also you can see the previous tunneling work up here is happening and then we can start the first section of the pipe install. So we have the different disciplines that are waiting on each other and you can use the Gantt chart and the relationships to understand how those relationships in the interplay between work is happening. Again, if you have access to a tool, another best practice is to limit how much you're looking at. So for example, maybe we just focus on the work that's happening in this year, 2025. And we can do that by applying a filter. We come in and apply a filter that has a date range. We can see the work that's happening between March 31st and December 2025. And then we're just focusing on work that's happening on that year so we can ignore the other stuff and really have a focused view. Gantt charts allow you both a detailed down in the weeds view as well as a big picture view of how projects are being sequenced, what the dependencies are between trades, what the milestones are, and what the timing of things are across a year or a calendar year or seasons. These are all important things to be able to understand by reading a Gantt chart. And if you can grab those things from a Gantt chart, then you're gonna be more successful at managing your work and succeeding in achieving your project. I'm Michael, see you again soon.